Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're gonna go over the four different ways to wire up your four pole connector onto your vehicle. The most popular reason of why you need to do this is because you need to get power from your vehicle to your trailer to power the, the lights on your trailer. Another reason would be that you have a accessory that has lights on it, maybe like a cargo carrier or a bike rack, that you need to get power to it to power the lights. The four types are gonna be a Y harness, which is gonna to connect to the taillights on your vehicle, a factory harness, which will connect to the factory tow package on your vehicle, and the other two options that we have are gonna be for those vehicles that don't have the other two options. The easiest way to find this is to use our fit guide and check out the wiring kits that are designed to fit your vehicle. So starting with our Y harness, you can see why it's called a Y. One is gonna to connect to the factory connection, and then once we unplug the factory connection, it'll plug into the other end of this. Um, your instructions will show where the location of this plug is, um, but also if we've installed the kit that you're looking at, uh, we chances are we've already done a video and we'll show you where it's at. So on our Ford Fiesta, for example, um, these are always gonna be either in a panel or behind the taillight. Uh, it all depends on the size of the plug. But you'll see here, for our Ford Fiesta, all you have to do is disconnect this plug and then take the yellow wire, or the side with the yellow wire. Green will always be passenger. Yellow will always be driver's side. So then you take the corresponding plugs, make your connection, and then we'll connect our other wire inside. And this kit's fairly easy to install because all we need to do now is run this wiring over to the passenger side and do the same thing uh, with the passenger side wire harness. Now there's two additional steps when wiring a vehicle with a Y harness. And one being that there's gonna be a ground wire that you'll have to use a self-tapping screw to screw it to the frame of the vehicle or a, a sturdy ground spot on a vehicle. And the other being that if your kit comes with a 12 volt power wire, you'll need to run it from the converter box in your trunk up to your battery in your engine department. You wanna run it to the positive post of your battery. You cannot run it to the 12 volt power source in your trunk because you will run the risk of blowing the fuse in your fuse panel and therefore you will not have any trailer lights. The best way to know whether or not you need to use a 12 volt power wire is it's gonna come with the kit that's gonna fit your vehicle. Now if you have a factory tow package on your vehicle, um, it's usually only gonna be a single plug and maybe a ground wire. Um, to find where the location of your factory plug is going to be, you can either check in your owner's manual, check in the instructions that come with your kit, or watch one of the helpful videos we have showing how to install the kit that you bought. Uh, for the vehicle that we have here, it happens to be behind this panel, and then we just need to remove this jack. And then we can look down in here and see our factory connector. Then we'll just take our factory plug and make our connection. Now when it comes to grounding your kit, there are a lot of times you can find a factory ground nearby to be able to use. Now once you get your wiring all connected, you're gonna have to route your uh, four pole wiring one of two ways. If you're not using your four pole all the time because you don't tow a trailer that often, uh, the safest place is going to be to keep it stored inside your vehicle, whether that's inside the compartment um, or in your trunk area here. Um, but what you'll do when you need to use it is you just run it out the vehicle, make sure you got enough length to reach your trailer. The weather shield is going to protect it from being smashed or cut or damaged. And then all you do is close your rear hatch. Then you have your wiring ready to go for your trailer. The other method is going to be to run your wiring down through your trunk and out the bottom of your vehicle and mount it to your hitch with a four pole bracket. Now the other two kits that are available are designed to fit vehicles that do not have an option for a Y kit or a factory tow package kit. The two kits that we have are the Takancha ZCI kit and the hardwire kit. With the Takancha ZCI, it's gonna have sensors that you'll run a wire through and then you just clip the, the little lid down on it and it's gonna sense an electrical signal going through the wire and then send that signal to the appropriate taillight on your trailer. The best reason to use the ZCI kit would be is if you have a lease vehicle 
that you're not allowed to cut into the wiring or if you just don't feel comfortable cutting into the wires on your vehicle. With the hard wire kit, you'll have to splice the wires into your factory wiring on your taillights. My personal opinion, if I only had the option between the ZCI kit and the hardwire kit, I would go with the hardwire kit just because I like knowing that it's a more sound permanent connection to the vehicle's wiring. Well guys, hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.